Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask industry insiders deep, inquisitive questions and then give them far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is bassist, producer, and writer, Michael Bradford. Michael, how you doing? Very good. How are you? Oh, just ducky, thank you very much. Uh, okay, you know the rules. 30 seconds on the clock and on to the next question. Are you ready? No. Will I you? mean, yes. <laughs> Okay, question number one. How has the shutdown impacted your work? The shutdown has impacted my work exactly the same way as before the shutdown happened, which is it hasn't impacted my work that much. What happened is my live work, performing live, has obviously stopped. In fact, I was in Ohio the day before they shut Ohio down, two days before I was supposed to have a show. So, uh, But studio-wise... Things are the same. When I'm in my studio, there is no such thing as time. There is no social distancing. There is no... Question two. What have you been doing to pivot and adapt your own skills to the current reality? Well, because I work alone a lot in my studio, I haven't had to make a lot of changes. I mean, a lot of times I write music or someone will send me a track and they want me to do overdubs on it or do mixes on it. And I always do that here at my studio, which is right next to my house. So it hasn't changed my workflow much, except I can't bring in other musicians, uh, other people to play on it, or engineers, or anybody like that who might be able to. Question three. What do you think recovery is going to look like for the, for the audio industry? Well, the audio industry might find itself having some boon times in terms of providing gear and equipment and things like that for studios. People who have home studios, people who have real project studios, people who have large commercial studios. I hear some of them are really spending this time refurbishing and upgrading and making changes. Um, as far as live stuff, it's going to take a while before they can really ramp up to anything that's significant to... Uh... Question four. What are you working on now? Currently, I'm working on um, mixes for different bands. Um, there's a group called the Felons Club that features Big B, who used to be in the Cottonmouth Kings. He's great. And he is, um, we just did his new album that's coming out next month. Um, I'm also doing remixes for bands. And I'm also producing some new electronic hybrid music where I'm combining electronic music with orchestral uh, instruments like violin and things like that. So there's always a wide variety of things that I can... Question five. If you could collaborate with one person, living or dead, who would it be? Well, if it was somebody living, my favorite band is Massive Attack. So if I could collaborate with them, or it, it would be wonderful. Another favorite band of mine is Roxy Music. Uh, they're not always together, but Brian Ferry, I just admire him so much. Um, I've always loved them one of the first records I ever bought with my own money. Um, all the bands I like the most don't need me because they're so good. <laughs> so I don't know that I'd really be able to find a great band to truly... Okay, well, I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and, and have you answer for me any question you wish I had asked you. You ready? Go. Well, I wish you had asked me what it's like to have only 30 seconds to answer a question that takes at least four or five minutes. I mean, first you got to formulate a thought, then you got to think about it, and then you got to actually try to express yourself. But while you're talking, you tend to edit yourself. You're wondering, am I making myself clear? Does that even make any kind of sense? Um, am I doing the right thing? I don't want to upset anybody. But then you finally reach the point where you're able to truly... Man, that's a lot of anxiety to go through just to answer a question, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, life is anxiety. It's angst. It's an angsty world, man. It's feel true, it's true. <laughs> like that great band Slade from the 60s. Come on, feel the angst. Is I could one? be mispronouncing it. I think so, yeah. Actually, I think it's angst. You have oh, to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you have to... You have to anyway, thank you for playing our game. My, I'm German. Yeah, well, I, 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 I thank you for playing our game. It's been fun. And, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Mm.